The WordPress editor is where we create our content for any page, post, or custom post type. It is a great tool for writing and formatting text, adding images, and more. But as of WordPress 4.9, that's the extent of what the editor can do. If we want to get more complex than that, we can add more to the content editor through plugins and shortcodes. However, when it comes to creating complex page layouts, you need more than what the editor can offer. Luckily, that changes with WordPress 5.0 with a new project called Gutenberg. The goal of Gutenberg, a code name for the WordPress 5.0 editor, is to create rich content layouts using content blocks instead of just plain text. This will allow users who don't know HTML and CSS to create richer content without the need for a plugin or shortcode. The biggest change with WordPress 5.0 is that in previous versions, the WordPress editor is a big text window. In Gutenberg, this moves to using blocks. A block is a piece of content we can drop into the editor which can be independently edited and placed. A collection of these blocks make up a whole post or page. You can think about blocks in Gutenberg as Lego blocks. Each block is its own piece and combined, lots of different blocks make something that looks really cool. You can even have a bunch of blocks that are exactly the same. These are called reusable blocks. In this video, we're going to take a look at what the new WordPress 5.0 editor looks like and how it works. You can see already that the new WordPress 5.0 editor, or Gutenberg, is dramatically different from the previous editor. We see more of a content area here and a lot more white space. We also see icons across the top and a brand new sidebar that has all of our options. This gives us maximum editing space to create richer content layouts. We can still add a title, and then we can either start writing, or we can click on the add icon, either in line or at the top of the page, to view all of the blocks available to us. You could see that there are many categories for the blocks, like most used, inline elements, common blocks, and more. If you know the block you're searching for, you can always start typing it and the blocks will get filtered. When we want to insert a block, we can click on it. I'm inserting the cover image block, which gives us a nice wide background image with text in the middle. So we can go to our media library, select a photo, and then add our title. You can also see that we have some different settings in line here. For example, we can make the cover image full width. And we can change the overlay color if we want to. The overlay color and the general color pickers may be dependent on the theme you're using. Furthermore, if we decide that we want the cover image to be displayed above our paragraph, we can simply drag our paragraph below the cover image. You can see how this allows for more flexible, robust content. But that's not all the new editor gives us. For the first time in the native WordPress editor, we can add columns. Again, we can do this without the need for a shortcode. Once we save and publish our changes, we can view the post on the front end. WordPress 5.0 also comes with a brand new 2019 theme that includes support for Gutenberg. 
Gutenberg and WordPress 5.0 are sure to revolutionize the way we write blog posts and pages. The new powerful editor allows us to create flexible, rich content right within WordPress without the need for short codes, custom code, or extra plugins. Gutenberg has also raised a number of questions surrounding how it will affect currently existing WordPress sites. For example, if you have old posts, will they be converted to the new editor? Luckily, your old posts will be perfectly fine unless you specifically convert them to Gutenberg. When it comes to themes and plugins, that could be a different story. I recommend that you reach out to your theme or plugin developer and ask them if they support Gutenberg and WordPress 5.0. Most notably, without Gutenberg theme support, some of the new features like the cover image or columns may not look right. So again, reach out to your theme developer and ask if they have added Gutenberg and WordPress 5.0 support. That's it for this video. In it, we took a look at what Gutenberg and the new WordPress 5.0 editor are and how we can create rich, flexible content with the native WordPress editor. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.